Okay, we're here with Team Rider for C4, Raimana. How do you pronounce your last name? Bombasole. Raimana Bombasole. Okay, and you're from Tahiti, right? From Tahiti and Papara and Chopu. Wow, uh, so what's it like to surf Chopu oh, on a stand-up? It's, uh, it's pretty challenging, you know. There's a couple of guys who came over and surfed over there, and some of them are good, some of them are still learning, but the break is so gnarly that, you know. You see people time. die? I don't see people die, though I, I, I know one died, but it wasn't about standing up. He was just duck diving with a longboard, oh. so he went over. And then what, broke his neck or something? Yeah, he was just gone. Uh, bye bye. He was a friend of mine, so, and then I was in France, so and I just heard the story that he, he got an accident. So. Huh. So, what about you? How did you learn um, to surf Chopu? Or uh, actually, we learned it with, from watching Laird surfing, you know? So oh, he was not, the first one to do it? He was the one to do it, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, over there, Chopo, he showed up and he was just showing, um, showing us how to surf over there. And that's why we started to get, started to surf, get some board first and then started to surf it over there. And it was, it was night and day, you know? So we, I used to boogie board over there, used to then body surf and used to short board it and used to tow it and then now I'm standing it over there. So so you guys never used to surf Chopu at all or just on a stand-up you're talking about? No, we used to surf but not in a stand-up and uh -huh. then Laird show up on a, on a, with his boards, with his all his equipment equipment and started to surf started to surf the Chopu with the stand-up. Were you there that day that Laird rode the wave that's on the surfer magazine? Yes, yes, I was over there, I witnessed it, I was on the boat and he offered me to to tow that day too because he got so many waves he got he was he was he was all he was so tired, got the way of the day and then he just he wanted to share it with everybody. And then did you go? I went for it but we never had that back then the tow board, you know, and we had a, I had a regular board and I ate it. Oh. So, because it was so heavy that day and we went on a six I went on a six six and I just couldn't I made the bottom but couldn't pass the wave because the wave was Super west and the wave was going so fast that and we didn't even know how to ride those waves first, you know. So, what's it like to get pounded on one of those? Uh, it's scary, you know. And you get you're so scared because you don't really want to hit the reef, and she's just protecting yourself, your head, your body, and everything. And the only thing you wish is is get get inside the lagoon. So for sure you're away from everything. But sometimes you can't even get inside the lagoon, so next thing you know, you, you're getting the next set, you know, those next 15 footer behind or whatever. Did you ever think you were going to die? No, I never thought I was going to die, but I thought for sure I was going to hit the reef for sure a couple of times. And I did hit the reef a couple of times, but I'm so lucky I didn't have uh, like a hospital kind of situation, you know, almost, but almost close. I never did it. I had only one really big, two big injured. One, I almost had my tendon with the uh -huh. fins. And one was when I was laired and I did a big, I did a super split. And Laird was the one who came and got me. And then I just told Laird after, you know. So. Oh, you mean he came in and saved you? He came and saved me. Because he was my top partner. And then I told him we switch and I was going to put him on the way. So that's why. I remember that, and that was the two worst injuries that I had, you know. So, it's good that he's your partner. <laughs> yeah, it's good, you know, it's always good because those guys know the ocean really good. There's a lot of guys who knows the ocean, but you have to know the breaks, you have to know, you have to be calm, you have to be, you have to be, you, first of all, you have to know how to drive the jet ski first, and then where to put you on the wave, and, I mean, you have to be calm too, really calm. Mm -hmm. so, so for stand-up, any tips for other people out there? I mean, I think everybody knows you just gotta get, you just gotta buy C4 boards and then come and we'll show you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Bye.